This is Focus on Rapture. My name is Collins Enyeribe. We are looking at the rapture of great tribulation matters. We've been discussing the four remaining raptures that will take place during the last seven years of this dispensation. The rapture of the Ecclesia is the next one, and that will be um, the announcement of the beginning of the Great Tribulation period. When the rapture of the Ecclesia takes place, the Church of Jesus Christ will cease to exist. Of course, on earth, there will be some kind of religious activity. The Bible describes it as the Hallowed Church. Raptured saints will fall into various hierarchical categories in heaven. And that will be at the judgment seat of Christ that will take place at the first heaven. When the rapture takes place, the gospel of grace of God will cease to be preached. There will be nobody around to preach it. And it will be relevant because the Holy Spirit would have returned to heaven with those vessels that were fit to stand before the Lord of the whole earth. However, people will continue to be saved and added to the body of Christ, but not the priesthood of Christ. And the method of salvation will obviously change. In Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, the Bible says, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives to the death. In Revelation chapter 6, let me read from verse 9. And when he had opened the fifth seal, the fifth seal will take place during the first half of the seven-year tribulation period. I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. People will be saved, but not uh, as people are saved now. No, it will be different. And because they most publicly um, <clears throat> side Jesus Christ or the Antichrist. Those who refuse to acknowledge uh, the reign of the Antichrist will be executed. And these are the people whose inward personalities will be below the altar. They, will, they can't appear before Almighty God in that state because they have not yet been perfected. And look at what is happening. Verse 10. And they cried with a loud voice saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth. Yes, they have been there right from day one of the great tribulation period, people will be martyred. And when they are martyred, their souls will be under the altar. And here, they were complaining that they were mm -hmm. that urging the Lord to judge those on the earth who tormented and killed them. But then you have another three and a half years, the second half of the tribulation period. Now look at verse um, 11. And white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season, until their fellow servants also, and their brethren that should be killed as they were, should be fulfilled. It's not everybody who is eligible to enter heaven who will be martyred. Right now, people are being prepared for the rapture of the Ecclesia. Some people are, some Christians are martyred, obviously. There is persecution, there is tribulation all over the world. And Christians are persecuted, are troubled on all sides. Some are killed for their faith. These ones who participate in the rapture of the Ecclesia, their souls will not be under the altar as said there. They, they have a special place for them. In, um, God has a place, special place for them until the time of rapture when they will be perfected and presented to the Lord Jesus Christ by the Holy Spirit. Now let's look at um, the things that tribulation matters will miss 
in heaven as a result of not participating in the rapture of the ecclesia. Take note of this. The rapture of the ecclesia is for the called out ones, the church. People are being qualified to take part because the Bible tells us in First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16, is that the rapture will involve dead and living saints. So people who have already died in the Lord, they died in Christ, they died righteous. Oh, righteousness was imputed to them. They are eligible to be raptured during the next rapture. Seven years after, which is the tribulation period, those who enter heaven must all be martyred, without exception. Because that is the only way to qualify to enter heaven. Is there any difference between the two raptures? Of course there is. A very big difference. You cannot be part of the bride and wife of Christ if you don't take part in the rapture of the called out ones. There are things you also miss. And let me just mention a few of them. Because when the rapture of the Ecclesia takes place, the Holy Spirit will take those eligible vessels to the first heaven where they will meet the Lord Jesus Christ. He will come down from the third heaven and wait for the saints at the first heaven. There at the first heaven at least three things will happen. The first thing that will happen is that every saint will receive a white stone. Not um, a, a flat object with writings on both sides. On one side is written the name of the recipient, not the earthly name, because everything that has to do with the earthly name will vanish away uh, at the moment of rapture. A new name that every saint will receive. That name actually was the name God gave to the hypostatic chief before they were brought to the earth by the Holy Spirit and implanted into willing vessels. That is the name. On the reverse side of the plaque will be written three things. The name of God, the real name of God, the, the name that we will now know him by. The name of New Jerusalem, it just won't be New Jerusalem. It has a name and it will be written there. And then the new name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You can see the plaque is like an ID card. It bears your name and your address. If you don't have that card, you will not enter into the New Jerusalem. All right. After that, every saint will be presented with a crown. You know, there are different crowns mentioned in the Bible, but the crown that is common to all saints is the crown of righteousness. Even from Old Testament times to New Covenant period and to uh, the period of the Tribulation period, every saint Everybody known as a saint of God must wear that crown before he can appear before God the Father. Because without a crown, you cannot access the throne room of God. The next event that will take place in the first heaven is the award of prizes to deserving servants of God. And these prizes will depend on obedience to the instruction that are given to saints by God the Holy Spirit. Because what every saint is supposed to achieve in heaven is already written. The Bible tells us that they were written before the foundation of the earth. Where are they written? They are there, in the, embedded in the hypostatic chief. And that's why uh, Romans chapter 12, verse 2 tells us, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. When you renew your mind with the word of God, there will be an unveiling of what has been written before the foundation of the earth about you in your hypostatic chip. Implementing that is obedience to the word of the Lord and that will determine your level of growth in the things of the Lord. From there, saints will move to the second heaven where there will be a banquet. This banquet was revealed to Prophet David when he said, the Lord has prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemies. I think that's Psalm 23, verse 5. That will happen. And of course, Jesus also made an allusion to that when he was conducting uh, the first Holy Communion with his disciples. He said, I, I will no longer drink this fruit of the vine with you 
except when I will drink it new with you in the kingdom. That is the period in the second heaven, which is the headquarters of the kingdom of darkness, that the table will be set. And that is where hierarchies will now be implemented. Because when prizes are awarded, people now know where they stand in the body of Christ. Then presentation to God the Father in the third heaven. Saints will be moved from the first heaven to the second heaven for the banquet, from the second heaven to God uh, the Father in his presence in the third heaven where the altar of God is and then God will pronounce blessings upon Jesus and his bride who were chosen at the judgment seat of Christ. That is what we call the marriage of the Lamb. After that, the Lord Jesus will begin the judgment that God has handed over to him. And then to do that, he needs authorization. And that authorization is the scroll that has been in the hand of God the Father since the world began. Because it's that scroll that is the substitute of ownership of the earth, and that is the bone of contention in spiritual warfare. Ready, ready, ready. Ready, ready, ready.